If you like custom ISOs with a Windows 10 flavor, this video is for you. Because in today's video, I'll be comparing Windows X Lite 10 Optimum version 3.11 versus Windows 10 LTSC 21. So sit down, strap in, let's go. Right guys, that's gonna bring us to our first custom ISO and it is Windows X Lite 10 Optimum version 3.11. I know it's a mouthful, but it's worth it. So just after installing the custom ISO, you'll have a, you have the option to have a look at extras and info. It's got some desktop, uh, desktop shortcuts. You can enable printing, which is disabled by default. Um, and then, yeah, they, you can just go through this little folder here. There are a whole bunch of options and shortcuts. Uh, there's some nice wallpapers that you can use. In fact, let me use this wallpaper just for some diversity's sake. Um, it's something I always mention that I very much like about um, Windows X Lite is the fact that when Error Tweaker is built into this custom build, um, if you saw my re review or, or talk about Windows X Lite 10 Optimum version 2, was a big fan of it, just as big a fan of this one. Uh, when Error Tweaker is built in, it just makes it so much more convenient. There's not a lot of optimization that you need to do. Once you install the custom ISO, I just changed the refresh rate of my monitor, just switched off Bluetooth, um, and then there were a couple of things to do in privacy. But other than that, it's all pretty convenient. You'll see uh, updates. I disabled updates via Windows Privacy Dashboard. But generally updates are blocked until I think $29.99. So you don't need to worry about Windows updates. Um, and just furthermore, I did test 11 games. I'm not going to go over Windows X Lite again. If you've seen my videos, you know what it's about. It's about performance. So let's have a look at it. So all my games are tested at medium settings, except for the newer, heavier titles such as Ratchet and Clank, it's on a mixture of medium, uh, a mixture of low and very low. Remnant 2 is on low, uh, Hogwarts Legacy is medium, Dead Island 2 is medium, and Resident Evil 4 Remake is a mixture of medium high and low. Everything else is tested at medium, and where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 was available, I used a quality setting. Um, you'll see my benchmark slightly smaller because I'm doing a ton of benchmarks today. But all the games I tested are single player games. Um, I do test on a GTX 1650 laptop, so your mileage might vary with the RTX card. In fact, I'm sure it will. You'll probably get the most benefit from weaker graphics cards and weaker CPUs uh, with these custom ISOs. And then lastly, I'm using NVIDIA driver 537.34, which after the most recent Windows updates is the shit. So guys, when I add up all the average FPSs, my total FPS over, okay, it's actually 11 games. So I'm just gonna change this in real time. Over 11 games is 761 divided by 11. So my average FPS per game is 69.82. Fantastic result. And then when I add up all the 1% lows, over 11 games, my total 1% low is 540. And when I divide that by 11, so my average 1% low for Windows X Lite 10 Optimum 3 version, no, Optimum 3 version 3.11 um, is 49.1. So you guys, you can see the, the performance of this is fantastic. I'm not gonna give away my results of my, my own optimized Windows just yet, but just know that Windows X Lite is top of the pops so far. And that's gonna bring us to our next custom ISO. And that brings us to uh, Windows Enterprise LTSC, and I'm on the evaluation copy. But, um, the license has expired, whatever that means. It's actually the first time I've worked with um, LTSC. Um, it's not that exciting. It's just super clean. As you can see, there's not a lot of apps. There's not, uh, like I just had to do a little bit of optimization in terms of changing my refresh rate, uh, in terms of apps, it's there's no bloatware. It's quite nice in that. In, in terms of that, 
but what I will say, this took forever to set up. Um, doing Windows updates and just getting things installed took an inordinate amount of time. So it is very nice and clean, but yeah, it's a bit of an hassle to install and I don't think it has the best support. Um, it's look, there's not much different. It doesn't look much different than your average, <laughs> excuse me, Windows 10. So let me just get to my results. So as mentioned earlier, all, all games tested at medium settings, except for the newer titles, you know the drill, and I'm testing on the latest NVIDIA driver. So over the 11 games, I add up all my average FPS, so I get a total of 758 FPS, divided by 11, that gives me 68.91 FPS average. Do the same thing for the 1% lows, add up all the 1% lows, and my total 1% lows over 11 games is 534 divided by 11. So my average 1% low is 48.55. So as you can see, um, a little bit worse than um, than Windows X Lite Optimum 10 uh, version 3.11. But what I'll do is I'll just go into Windows and I'll do a nice little spreadsheet where I'll compare Windows Optimized Windows X Lite and Windows LTSC. So I'll see you in a second. And then guys, just to finish off the video, here's the comparison in Windows in a nice spreadsheet so you can compare it like for like. So I'm not gonna go over, th over everything again. Windows X Lite, when I add up all the average FPS, it's 761. When I add up all the average 1% lows, it's 540. And then Windows 10 LTSC, 21. When I add up all the average FPS is 758. When I add up all the 1% lows is 534. And then my optimized stock standard windows. Uh, when I add up all the average FPS 757. And then when I add up all the 1% lows is 537. So guys, as you can see from the results, if you're going for absolute performance and Windows 10 is the, the operating system you want to use, I highly recommend Windows X Lite 10, or Windows X Lite 10 Optimum version 3.11. As you can see, it's got great average FPS. It's got great 1% lows. Uh, Windows 10 LTSC, it is quite cool to, um, you know, LTSC is very clean, but it's such a pain in the ass to install. I wouldn't actually recommend it if you got in full performance because as you can see by just optimizing windows and using my optimizations you're going to get better performance than wasting all your time with windows 10 ltsc but what i'll do is in the description i'll put a link to where you can download windows 10 ltsc if you want to try it as well as i'll put a link to windows x Lite, specifically uh, the website and then um yeah, uh, where you can download the customizer from. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button. If you have any questions, please hit me up in the comment section. If you're still watching, guys, and you haven't subscribed as of yet, now is the time to do so. It's people like you. Enjoy the rest of your week. Cheers.